Warning. My Native American last name is by no means an endorsement of the popular alcoholic drink Moonshine. In fact, if I hear you've been defiling your temple by drinking Moonshine, I will personally break you in half. Sincerely, Billy Moonshine. <laughs> It's not unusual you want to be alone by anyone. It's not unusual you want I'm tired of getting beat up at school every day. It hurts. They throw me in garbage cans. They throw me against the wall. They throw my head in the toilet. Yeah, my face smells like urine. <laughs> what channel? Okay. <laughs> Tired of getting picked on by neighborhood bullies? Name's Moonshine. Billy Moonshine. I will make bully soup out of your bullies. And it'll be nice and tasty. Satisfying. In 1974, my life was physically threatened at a truck stop in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Let me tell you what happened. Some hooligan ran up on me, tried to take my wallet and make it his own. I grabbed him by his leg, flipped him over, and embarrassed him in front of about six people. Then I gave him five dollars and I told him to buy himself a Slurpee or something. I've got the reflexes of a Siamese cat and the agility of a 16-year-old female ballerina. Let me tell you this right now. I'm a nice guy, but I won't hesitate to break you down if I have to. <laughs> I may feel bad about it later, and I may end up showing up at your house, do some handiwork or something, I don't know, paint your garage or something like that. But if you mess with me, one on one, let me tell you this right now. I will break you down. Listen up folks, this is serious business. In 1986, I actually rescued a golden retriever out of a raging river with my hair alone. I know you're asking yourself, ah! how'd he do it? I'm not gonna tell you that till the third week of my class. But what I am gonna tell you is that my hair is like a Ginsu knife. It may look full of volume and rich in nutrients, but it'll actually cut through sheet metal. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. I got three friends in this world. My grandma, my buddy Chuck down at Home Depot, and myself, Billy Moonshine. I can't tell you how many times the FBI has called me in because they needed help with a dangerous drug cartel. I'm like a fluffy bunny disguised as a kamikaze warrior. In 1979, I was actually stranded in a remote village somewhere near the Amazon River. Let me tell you what I did. Most people would have given up. But I didn't give up. You want to know what I did? I cut six inches off of my hair and I was able to weave it together into a small raft and I floated down the river and I was able to get myself to safety. Tired of getting picked on by neighborhood bullies? I will break a bully down if I have to. But that's if I have to. I will also sit down and have a reasonable conversation with the bully. I'll give him financial advice. I'll buy him a cup of latte. 
My old military buddies told me I put the bear in Barracuda. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm a reasonable guy, but if you look at me wrong, I'll break you down so small you'll fit into a blueberry muffin mix. I will bake you into a low-fat blueberry muffin and sell you at Starbucks if I have to. Hold on a second. My cell phone's vibrating. It's moonshine. What? The president needs to speak with me? Tell him I'll call him back. I'm filming a class. I know you're probably wondering at home. How does that moonshine keep such a high level of energy at all times? And I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't have the foggiest idea, but in 1989, scientists chemically tested my sweat. And they found uh, that my sweat had the same components as a 12 ounce of Red Bull. Tired of getting picked on by neighborhood bullies? or I will break you down. Sincerely, Billy Moonshine.